Well, a simple fishing trip attracted around 100 veterans. Recently deployed and retired veterans formed teams with renowned fishing professionals for the Trolling for Troops competition. Hannah Tran has more on why this is not only a competition, but a time to reflect and reconnect. On the rippled waters of the Mississippi River, Lucas Hoskins found a face that he once saw during a time of chaos. Our past crossed. Last time I um, seen him since we were in Kuwait. But the chaotic memories of war ebbed away from the river's calm flow and recollections commenced. Trolling for troops is an event that reconnects so, veterans, old and young. It's important to bring together the recently returned veterans with the older veterans so they can share those stories and create a combination or a bond between the two of them. It's not only a time to reminisce, but to compete. Hunting opportunities were offered for veterans at Camp Ripley for decades, but fishing events such as these were not until recently. Anytime you get on the water, especially veterans, there's competition. Uh, fishermen, you know, it's this or this. There's a total of nine awards. Some awards are for the longest catch in the Mississippi River and in Lake Mille Lacs. There's also an award for the largest pike, the largest walleye, and the largest bass. Growing up in Minnesota, everybody loves to hunt and fish. And if you grew up in Minnesota fishing, you know names like Al Linder and Gary Roach and Dave Gens, who just came out of the water just a couple of minutes ago. Fishing professionals joined each pair of disabled and recently returned veterans on a boat. Now we came out here and yeah, we were both pretty excited about this for today and we've had a great time. And for Lucas Hoskins, it's more than just a crossing of paths now. A past encounter turned into an extraordinary exchange. Hannah Tran, Lakeland News. Not all veterans fished on the Mississippi River. Some chose to do their fishing at Lake Mille Lacs. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.